All right, we're here to look at the Agatha All Along teaser trailer from Disney+. Plus. Remember when WandaVision came out, it was the first piece of Marvel television we'd had. We'd just come off the back of the Infinity War saga, and we'd, we'd gone through all of that, and we were like, wow, what happens next? Thanos is gone, Vision's gone, what is going to happen? And now there's this WandaVision show, and we didn't know anything, and it was this weird TV sitcom thing, and... I didn't mind WandaVision when it came out. I haven't watched it again to see if it still holds up, but it was interesting and it was like, what's happening? And, and I thought the, the nostalgia piece of going through different decades of television was interesting and fun. Uh, and obviously then there was a reveal that Catherine Hahn, the nosy neighbor, was behind a lot of it and she was Agatha all along some other ancient witch. And I was like, what? And Catherine Hahn played the role really well. She was great. And so now they've brought out a spin-off. They've gone, well, everyone loved Catherine Hahn so much. But the problem is, it's been years now, and the MCU is not what it used to be. When WandaVision came out, there was still a very positive vibe and glow around the whole MCU. Over the last few years, that glow has faded somewhat. And so there's already, you know, a lot of ne negativity and speculation about this trailer that I've seen. And I haven't watched the trailer yet. I'm going to watch it. This is a, like authentic reaction. So we're going to watch it. I might pause it if I see stuff. I go, what the heck is that? We're going to go through. But Cards on the Table, I liked Catherine Hahn's character. I didn't mind WandaVision. I am interested to see whether this is any good or not. Let's bring it up and have a look. All right, so here is Agatha All Along, teaser trailer from Disney+. Plus. Another beautiful day. Surprised to see you out here, Detective. Jane Doe, found her down here by the water. Cause? Blunt force trauma. Are they still running with the TV show shtick that now she's in like a CSI crime drama? Like, what is this? I'm already curious. What happened to you? I have a lead in the case. But I can't shake this feeling I'm seeing it wrong. Is this really how you see yourself? That witch is gone, leaving you trapped in her distorted spell. Claw your way out. Ooh, okay. So this is Wanda trapped her in the curse. That's why it still looks like TV shows, because this isn't the origin story. This is a continuation from WandaVision. I get it. Glory days. She took every bit of power I had, but I can be that witch again. Well, the gang's all here. Let's hit the road. I'm gonna walk the witch's road. The road is a death wish. in her right mind would join Agatha Harkness's coven. <gasps> Not looking for right-minded witches as it happens. <laughs> Sweetheart, you okay? Well, that, that got dark. That got dark. I I don't know. I mean, Aubrey Plaza is great. Loved her in Parks and Rec. Uh, she's normally turns in pretty good work. So good, good, good actresses. 
there. Uh, it's, they're pitching it as a Halloween thing. I think they're going to release it in this Halloween season. Um, it looks pretty dark. I don't know if it's necessary. I don't know how it ties into the broader MCU or whether they committed to Catherine Hahn. We're going to give you a spinoff, and now we need to try and jack that into the, the mixed bag that is the MCU. We still don't know how things like Moon Knight fit in. Uh, there's all these issues with making Falcon Captain America and all the reshoots going on there. I think the MCU is a confused place, and I'm not sure that this material is going to be the solution that's going to put the MCU back on its feet. Look, I, I also, you know, personally, I have an issue with over-glorifying witchcraft and the occult, um, especially when they make it look really, really dark. I mean, maybe it's better to make it look dark because then it's scary and people get scared off it rather than making it look all like, ooh, this is where pretty witches and this is all fun and games and ha ha ha. So maybe that's a good thing. I'm, I don't know, I'm not big into the horror genre, so... I Look, it could be reasonably told storytelling. It could be interesting. There's not enough in there to really know. But my biggest concern is how does this actually tie into the overall MCU? How does this help us with all the multiverse, quantum mania? What is happening with that? What is happening, MCU? We don't understand. You. It was really clear before. You had Thanos as a bad guy, and you're building the Avengers, and the Avengers had some sub-adventures that would character development, getting them ready for that final boss fight with Thanos. That was fine. This makes no sense. I don't understand how this is going to tie in with all the stuff we've seen from your Loki series and from Ant-Man's and what's his name? The, the, uh, the, uh, I can't even remember what he's called. The guy across time that's in legal trouble and uh, they don't know whether they can use him or not. What is happening? MCU, what do you think? Are you interested in this show? Drop a comment in your thoughts on both Agatha all along and the state of the MCU at the moment. We'll leave it there. See you on the next one.